Good morning guys. Um, today we'll be talking about how to make a heat proof and gabled roof in SketchUp without using any plugin. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So first I'm just going to create a dummy four-sided building on which we can place our roof on top. So this is a rough house with roughly three meter height building i'm going to create a door and a window just for it to look the part that is a door is a house right excuse me so i create i create uh, my door 900 by 21 directly in there using the rectangle tool here I have a sample studio apartment one living room and one bedroom to quickly illustrate the the roof on top so the first thing to do is to group the building separately and also create a plane directly on top of the building to form the exact footprint that you want the roof to f to form we created an offset of about 600 and created the thickness also Draw the triangle at the exact half point of the shorter side of the plane. Then use your follow me tool to send that rectangle around. What you achieve is going to be something like this. So we are going to clean it up now to make it look all neat. So we've created our first heat proof prototype without any plugin. I'll go further into adding materials, textures. So I'll quickly clean this second one off so that we can have a clean slate as as before. So we we'll create a gable roof. Here is even more simpler. What we have to do is to create the exact triangle needed for one face, then use the push pull tool to extend it to the other end. Then we apply our textures. So the, the two most important tools that we have used so far for this lesson is the follow me tool and the push pull tool.
I will be showing us how to manipulate the height of the roof if perhaps the pitch is not satisfying or the height is not satisfying to what you desire. First, we create a reference size outside, say 3 meters or whatever the case may be. We select the roof and scale it. But we'll scale it in reference to the object we created outside, like so. We'll do the same thing also. Select only the faces. I'm creating the line just to tell SketchUp not to extend beyond that plane. Select all the faces of the roof and pick up my scale too. So that everything scales up dynamically, even the textures. So we have a very, very simple heap and gable roof. If you have any questions or want to see more tips, I would like to recommend whatever you want us to touch. Please leave your comments in the chat box below. Thanks for watching.